Aaron Sangerman here at the Greater Golf States, and we are standing here with it. We're sitting here with I, the yes. MPC champion, Kyle Roberts, wheelchair champion of the Wood class. Uh, of middleweight. And the overall class. So you want a IFBB Pro card here, obviously very significant. How long have you been shooting for this thing? Uh, eight, eight years, actually. Eight years I've been I've been tra training and get, trying to go for this IFBB Pro. Nick Scott kind of, I'm sure you saw the show in Houston, right? Yeah. I was there. It was tremendous. People loved it. I mean, people were, I mean, you, you had, uh, I go to a lot of shows, as you know, Kyle, yeah. and very rarely do I see standing ovations. And for the overall winner at the show in Houston, there were standing ovations, not just for the overall winner, but almost every winner. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to know, from your perspective, what do you think people see so fascinating i know what i see but what do you see so fascinating for the wheelchair division one we're still independent you know that that's what what we're more projecting is that even though there is a physical disability um we are still the same as all men's open as any ifbb pro and what we portray is a good camaraderie is that all of us have something in common not only dieting dehydrating carb depletion as all bodybuilders have in common but we share the same fact that we're all wheelchairs and that is that is the most special thing with the standing ovation is that people actually do appreciate the hard work yeah i mean i'm sure you know people make excuses in bodybuilding they say oh, i can't diet any longer i'm too tired i'm i'm carb depleted i i can't think right you guys have i mean if anybody makes an excuse you know you guys are proving that anything is possible correct uh, my thing is, uh, I got a little saying, uh, some people say that it's not politically correct, but um, I don't compete against other people in wheelchairs. I'm competing against the upright walkers, the men's open, to show them that, hey, I don't do cardio, but my diet, and because I can actually do this and stay dedicated and have that willpower, then who says that I can't look better than them? So you, you, you're willing to suffer for to get in the condition where a lot of people will do cardio or, or sometimes they won't do either. And they, and they get in the condition due to a metabolism or, or whatever. And they get in the condition. You have to suffer, basically. Yes. Uh, I actually I, I cut my meals in half. Uh, the portion size are drastic. Uh, instead of eating seven times a day, I'm eating close to about 12 to 13. They're small, small. Uh, very small. Uh, I'm doing about four ounces to five ounces of uh, just protein in general. And uh, my carb intake is very, very little. I figured that if I'm only going to be using the upper body, I don't have to take in so much carb so I can cut them in half. And I just, uh, the cardio just, I, one, I didn't like it before I got paralyzed. One, the one thing I always said is that I'm not going to run unless I'm being chased or chasing somebody. So I don't plan on doing any chasing in the wheelchair, so cardio is knocked out for me. So dieting is it. I got to bring this up because you're, you're, you're sitting here, you're holding these cupcakes, right? Uh -huh. So, I mean, you've been, you've been, have you said, you've been suffering, right? Mm -hmm. So how much are you looking forward to, I mean, I know that regular competitors are looking forward to these type of things. Yeah. How much are you looking forward to? I'd actually, uh, if I wasn't paralyzed, I'd paralyze myself for it. Uh, <laughs> very, very, very good, very good. So let's talk about, let's talk about being a wheelchair athlete, right? This show, Greater Gold States, has given you an opportunity to become an IFBB pro, which, as of last year, means something in the fact that you have an opportunity to compete. How meaningful is that to you? Uh, very meaningful. Um, I'm actually living a dream. Um, ever since I was little, I wanted to be a professional basketball player, and uh, I made a career choice at a, young, at a young age that I would be better off playing football. Um, as high school came up, I was a top prospect in the state. I uh, had a lot of scholarship scouts, uh, but a lot of injuries uh, then took that all away. I got paralyzed when I was 19, and I never saw the light that, man, I was like, I, I can't live out one of my dreams. I, got in, I was introduced to bodybuilding before I even got paralyzed, just didn't understand it. Uh, I had a couple of people that got me involved and uh, told me about wheelchair bodybuilding, and once I got into it, I realized that, wow, I can still live a dream. And tonight, being an IFBB pro, my dream is reality, and uh, I'm, in, I'm in awe. It, it's awesome. It's beautiful. It's, so, it's unreal. That's awesome, man. Let's talk. Let's bring it back a little while. Tell us about the injury that occurred that, that caused you to be in the wheelchair in the first place, man. Uh, April 8th of 2004, I was in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, and I was leaning against a railing. The railing was nailed into Rottenwood at a fishing camp. The railing collapsed. I flipped off backwards 12 feet, uh, crushed my spinal cord at the T10 vertebrae, and became paralyzed from the waist down. Uh, the ironic thing about that was a year later, I had the, all the metal and equipment taken out my back to give me more flexibility and mobility, and I started having migraines. 
I had an MRI done, and I was diagnosed with a brain tumor. And uh, that's what the scar is on this side right there. And uh, in October of 2010, I had uh, brain surgery. They had the tumor removed, which is benign. It's not cancer, so we're good. So talk about talk about being an athlete. I mean, look, I can I try to put myself in the place of anybody I interview. So I, whether they win an IFB Pro Card, which is obviously you know the highlight of many people's athletic career, to to, to back to the finding out that you have you know that you've fallen that you have a brain tumor etc or that you may have a brain tumor thankfully it wasn't benign but when you go back to that moment just pretend for a minute you go back to that moment what are the feelings that you felt at that time obviously your athletic career is over um the way the way i looked at it was that it's a challenge and if anything great people have come through great challenges and i'm a very competitive person and i saw this as my challenge to be competitive um just getting out of bed was a challenge uh tying my shoes was a challenge and i just took those baby steps and if i had to go and do it all over again i actually uh it made me a better person and i wouldn't change anything and um all i remember is that becoming paralyzed and uh remembering when i woke up after the you know the pain the physical pain was there but i really wasn't worried you know I, i just knew that support no support that you know i know in the back of my mind i can i can accomplish it and and i was lucky enough to have a family that supported me and uh, kept me motivated through the whole thing let's talk about let's talk about once you've once you decided to do this you know obviously bodybuilding is different than football or baseball any any kind of normal sports how does the family how does your family um react deciding hey kyle kyle wants to be a bodybuilder you know i know my family i have a jewish family and so when i told them they're like what so what what do they think you're about you're now you want to be a bodybuilder in a wheelchair what do they think um they thought they thought it was good for me at first but then they saw all the times that uh when i was cranky right. uh just very mean uh short tempered they they thought it was a uh, they thought it was still good to train but they thought the dieting was just too much too drastic they thought it was uh, hurting my body and uh they they always support me with everything i do but they weren't full on support uh as meaning why put yourself through this and become this different person and the five minutes of glory on stage is what i always tell them is that one day i'll turn i bb pro and it will be all worth it and it was worth it well i got to tell you Kyle i've been to the pro show that we had in texas and houston last year and i mean that was a big deal i mean people loved it people that were in the auditorium just absolutely loved it what is the hopes for you Kyle Roberts in the future what do you what do you hope to do with the wheelchair bodybuilding and where do you hope to go actually just to go back and compete against uh, some of the old competitors uh when i was coming up uh, i miss actually getting on stage with them uh, i have a very good friendship with Harold uh, the winner of the Houston Pro last year very nice guy very, yeah his family's awesome his kids his kids are hilarious um i just i just want to get back on and uh and just compete again uh it, it you know it's nice to be with the elite finally yeah. and be able to know where i stand ironically uh or i guess all as i sit you know where i sit so um in a way i'm not really really hoping for too much it's just when to lose i just want to get i just want to be back up there with uh my friends and uh people i have relationships with that i like to actually be on stage with again i i enjoy it i'm i'm addicted to the stage i'm addicted to the dieting uh the camaraderie uh you know just the jokes um uh, you know like last year uh when Harold was here uh and uh, competed at Greater Golf I was messing with him on stage you know I was like I was like you know you think you know you think I'm attractive and I was just messing with him and and just you know cutting up and that's what that's what makes it so much fun that's why I want to get back out there you know I got to say that the camaraderie with the the wheelchair bodybuilders I mean uh, exceeds the the camaraderie with anybody else in the division. I mean, I'm talking from bikini to women's physique to male bodybuilders. You guys have a, have a uh, a camaraderie between you guys. You obviously understand what each other is going through. And I got to say, I'm looking forward to seeing you compete with all of the guys in the pro show in Houston at Lee Thompson's show. And I got to say, Kyle Ta- Kyle Roberts, Aaron Sayerman, Arx Muscle.com, I'm looking forward to it, man. Good yes. job. Very good Thank job. You.